Hello, everyone, and welcome to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm Alexis Sita. Thanks for joining us. Well, the people of Japan have been on all of our minds since the tragic events happened there just a few weeks ago. And of course, here in Torrance, we have a very special relationship with Japan from the large Japanese American population that lives here to the Japanese businesses that are based here to, of course, our bond with Kashiwa, the sister city that we've had for more than 30 years. So today on Spotlight Torrents, we are coming to you from the Gateway Japan exhibit. It will also serve as a fundraiser for the Japanese Red Cross, as well as a celebration of global images and ideas. My name is Yuki Yoshida. Uh, I'm from Japan. Uh, this is my work. My name is Bio. So I'm joined now by Akahiro Yasugi, who is an artist who just came in from Tokyo five days ago. Yeah. Was it very difficult to leave Tokyo? Yes. Uh, uh, Tokyo, uh, 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 ここに無事に来たのが奇跡だと思うぐらい大変でした。で、こちらに来ること自体、え、本当によく来れたなと思っています。Okay, so we have another artist here who's going to help us translate. This is Shingo Francis. Okay, so did you get all that? Yeah, so he said that uh it was really difficult getting everything together in Tokyo to get the work shipped out here and because of logistical problems and he did lose a few pieces that didn't make it so he had to go and and do with what he had and then build some new things to to make way for the rest of the work and uh, and besides that it was uh, it was okay for him to come and he's glad that he's here well why is it so important that you are here with your work because besides leaving Tokyo by yourself must be difficult but then to be putting together pieces and having to ship them, it, that takes a lot. So why is it important that you're here tonight? Uh,自分自身が来たことがどういう意味があるのかそうですね。あの、やはり日本の多くの人たちが今頑張っているということを、やはり僕自身が世の中の人に、日本以外の人たちに伝える必要がある。それができる、それが使命だと思いました。So he wants to send a message that the people in Japan, you know, during this really difficult time are really trying very hard to help each other and to get back to life and to overcome this, this terrible tragedy. And he wants to be, uh, he wants to send a message that I'm here as well, working very hard, coming here to show my work and, and continue working and, and to support in that, in that spirit. That things are moving forward and... Yeah, that he's working hard. Well, and, and moving forward, yeah. Well, given the huge events that have happened just a few weeks ago, how do you think that that will inform your work in the future? あ、僕はいつも今の日本というものをテーマに作品を作り続けてきました。ですけども、このぐらい大きな困難な時代が来るっていうのは僕自身想像していなかった。だけども、やはりアートというのは現実を伝えることと未来を皆さんと一緒に
little twin stars in Hello Kitty. Oh. So that's Hello my Kitty. connection. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So if you're interested in those characters, you can find them here in Torrance. But if you're interested in more obscure characters, you should have a look at Tamaya. To the untrained eye, these are just toys and trinkets. To the true collector, this is a gold mine. Hidden away in a strip mall, Tamaya exclusively sells San X toys and stuffed animals, a brand of toys usually only found in Japan. But thanks to the persistence of the owner's daughters, that has all changed. Every time we go in uh, Japan for a business trip, my kids used to give me a list of items they want. And I've been going through the stores in Japan and that made me realize there's so many items are not available but fun and more um, creative in Japan. I just wanted to uh, give the same opportunity for uh, kids here. San X was created for the young and old. For some, the store is the perfect place to wake their inner child. As I was walking around, just brought back memories when I was back in like elementary school picking out stuff, so it's kind of fun. For others, it's the perfect place to find just what they're looking for. I like the store because they have cute characters. The main character of the store is this bear, Rilakuma, which means relaxed bear. And according to the store's owner, he may be a stress reliever. Everyone there is looking for some place to get very relaxed or uh, um, refreshed or something to heal their everyday uh, uh, stressful life. And when they see this character, uh, they feel that, you know, they, they feel more relaxed or um, they feel more ease. And business is booming. The store is looking for a new and much larger home, one that will meet the demands of new Sanex products and loyal customers looking for that exclusive item. They give me all kind of emails or a uh, uh, message from Facebook and asking me to keep one aside or, you know, and then that really um, motivate me to go, go in, you know, to keep this uh, business running. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Jacqueline Shepard. If you're a fan of Rilakkuma, Mame Goma, and Monokuro Boo Baby Boo, then you've probably visited Tamaya. But if you don't know about these Japanese characters, check out the store at 3636 Sepulveda Boulevard. For more information, go to tamaya-gift.com. Hi, I'm Yuki Hashimoto. Uh, I'm from Tokyo. This is my artwork. Uh, it's cell phone, and it's made of clay. So how long does it take you to make this? Uh, three times more? Do you like watch So I'm joined now by Shingo Francis. He is one of the featured artists here at the Gateway Japan exhibit. We're standing in front of his piece out there. Now, you are an artist of mixed background. You're half Japanese and half American. So you were saying that it, it's hard to for you to even decide whether you consider yourself more Japanese or more American. How does that inform what you do as an artist? Well, I. It, I think it influences me a lot. One, on one level, on my identity, um, on an identity level, am I Japanese, am I American? I feel like I'm both. So it inc I incorporate the two aspects of my uh, background into my work, meaning I'm, very, I'm being very conscious on the fact that I have an Eastern heritage and a Western heritage. So I look at Japanese artists, I look at what they've been doing, I look at the history, in uh, contemporary Japanese art and also the history and traditional Japanese art. Then I look at the history of Western art and particularly American uh, contemporary art and how the movements have been influencing each other and also in a sense contradicting each other. With your painting that's behind us, you said that there are a couple of things about it that are you know traditional Japanese, the paper that you use. and Are there things in the Japanese culture that you think that are different from your American side, your Western side, and not necessarily just the artwork, but the culture that somehow informs your work as well. Oh yeah, yeah, there is a, a definite difference. And I could just say one would be how boundaries are perceived, how boundaries are felt. This work has to do with, with boundaries. And you can see the line in the center and the space I give 
the work at the top to the bottom and I leave the white, which is in Japanese, mu, which is kind of like a void. And that void, that non-space, is very important in Japanese culture. Yet at the same time, there's a very active kind of uh, abstract expressionist center going on in the piece that for me it has to do with this expressionistic side that's very Western, so. Well, you are an artist who definitely uh, splits time between Japan and uh, the States and New York. You were saying you're not really sure where you spend more time here or there. So you're very entrenched in that culture. How do you think the events that have happened a few weeks ago, if they will at all, but do you think they will change the Japanese people in any way? Well, I mean, I've been in touch with my family. I've been in touch with friends. Um, it's a big shocker. I think it's really made everyone feel the, you know, Japan's a very steady, very um, consistent culture. Um, they've been, you know, very good at taking care of themselves and, and moving forward from World War II and, and becoming a leading first world country and having all the comforts as well. Um, I think it's, you know, since the Kobe earthquake, it's been the, the largest disaster. And I think the fragility and also the immense power of nature has once again uh, made them, the Japanese uh, consciousness realize how everything is very, uh, I guess, fragile. And, um, but at the same time, they're fighting spirit of uh, surviving and overcoming uh, difficulty, which was something I think was experienced during World War II. Um, so that spirit is once again, I think, is, is really giving strength to the Japanese people and then having them come together. Uh, but at the same time, I think this nuclear situation too has um, made them realize there's some changes that may need to be done in this, the system that they have over there. Well, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the coming weeks. But thank you so much for speaking with us. We're excited to look at your work and look at all the art, other artists here at Gateway Japan. You know, one of the great things about being in Southern California is that you really can experience different cultures, and not just different ethnic cultures, but you can experience different cultures in music and in artwork and also in fashion. Let's go out to a store that's landed recently in Torrance and is really taking off.